Get prepped. Week three. Let's react to what we just saw. Marty, Neil, what do you think uh, about what we witnessed in week two? We witnessed an awful lot in week two, and a lot of it was out of state, too, with right, Cherry Creek right. winning out of state, Columbine winning out of state here. Uh, Mullen and Doherty was triple overtime. You know, Pomona walked again. Valor won again. A lot of the same old, too. Joe Johnson, Cherokee Trail, 2-0. and oh, That catches my attention. Uh, still got to stay on Smoky Hill. I, you know, I know it's a modest schedule, but hey, if the Nell showed up, they are 2-0 and oh right now. And then also, uh, how about Thunder Ridge? Making me look at 2-0 and all right now with the Grizzlies. Yeah, good for those guys. They struggled in last year without uh, Joe Johnson being their head coach. And good for them. The Grizzlies are coming back. It's good for 5A football. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look at top performers. Uh, you know, based on what we just saw in week two, who got your attention? Aiden Atkinson, a quarterback at Fairview, now has 10 touchdown passes. He's doing extremely well. Uh, Running-wise, the, uh, the Sonny kid from Smoky mm -hmm. Hill is doing extremely well, leading 5A in rushing. And then, you know, Dom DePiesel makes the strip for Mullen against Doherty in triple overtime to, to win the game. The Smoky Hill running back, he's uh, gone for 255 and 237. Obasanjo Sani, and I just wanted to make sure that we said that. Jordan's Billingsley from Grandview is uh, coming off of a 202-yard performance, 38 carries at the high school level. So Schultz, Schultz is working him. Shades of the 70s. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris McCarron, A West wide receiver. 16 receptions for 220 yards. And then, then Colin Romero, Rock Canyon, a wide receiver, 14 catches, 202 yards, three TDs. Nice work, Mr. Romero. And don't forget some of the elite players, as the games go on, will pick it up. And particularly for me, like Luke McCaffrey from Valor Christian is off to a really nice start. I think he's like 24 or 34 right. throwing the ball and stuff like that. Kind of depends on who you play, when you play them, how you play them. Things like that factor in. Okay, week three, we've got some big contests starting to shake out to where top tens are starting to meet each other. A couple that are on your mind. Well, for me, the, the Milkan game, the Brookridge Trophy game between Heritage and Arapahoe is always a lot of fun. It was instituted years ago by Mike Greibel. Littleton Public School Stadium is on the site of a former dairy farm. Uh -huh. So they have a dairy farm or a milk can trophy, which is really kind of cool. Right. And you get to keep it for the year and everything like that. And those, these are the types of games I think we need in the metro area to create interest because we have competition for the entertainment dollar and time and commitment and stuff like that. Fox 31 High School Game Day. Watch the game. KDVR.com. Go to the Sports tab. We'll see you at 7 p.m. Cherry Creek and Mullen. Since 6A came about in 1990, mm -hmm. name me a better series. I mean, they've played for championships. Right. They've played outstanding uh, semifinal games, quarterfinal games. Within the league of the Centennial League, these guys go at it. There's no doubt about it. Every time they play, right. you want to watch schools like this play for sure. That's old school. Uh, yeah, for and then sure. newer, um, Pomona and Valor, have, they've played nine times. Valor's won six times. they played in two, champion, two of the past three championship games. Public school in the older neighborhood, Northwest Jeffco, right. versus the newer one in Highlands Ranch, parochial school, which takes all comers. Okay, let's talk about a trend we've seen happen over the last few years out-of-state games, especially for Class 5A football. Starting with, let's define why this is happening. Why are well, 5A football programs scheduling out-of-state? One, one thing is fun, necessity is another. You get to travel, you get to find out a little bit about yourself, see somebody and play somebody you've never played before, have a, a team bonding thing and everything like that, a little chance to grow as a group and get away and have, you know, have a little trip and there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it. And it's also by necessity because the upper end of 5A, make no mistake, right. has difficulty getting games of equal competition. It's that simple. Yeah, and that's what I hear as I'm doing coaches calls is uh, that necessity component. You know, it's, uh, we know class 5A is top heavy. I mean, there's eight, nine, 10 and, and that's it. Uh, whether it's political or just numbers game, uh, it's tough to schedule three, four non-conference Mostly games a numbers game because the yeah. upper, uh, uh, Cherry Creek embraces the large student body and does a nice job really of uh, policing it and, and handling mm -hmm. it and everything like that. And then the uh, traditional schools in Jeffco, for example, always right. have, you know, good football teams, good coaches, all that stuff. And then, you know, you factor the privates in, you know, Mullen and Valor and those people, Regis, that's where our strength lies. And then we're looking at teams to crack in there, you know, such as Fairview or Thunder Ridge. But that aside, these guys need these games. There's no doubt about it. They're, they're hungry for competition. Cherry Creek just went to California and playing Santa Margarita. Right. You know, last weekend, he understood the value of playing good teams like that. I mean, it can only make it can only make Cherry Creek better in this instance. Let's ask you this: Does the RPI know what it is? 
the RPI for me that's is another personally knock on the RPI for me you know what I mean how they can base anything on an out-of-state team and factor in towards us I think is a little vague and I think it's a reach going back to the milk can game Fox 31 high school game day watch the game kdvr.com it always gives you top 10 value those guys do well show there. up look at the stadium I right. mean all the stands are on one side they, they seem to fill right. it it's centrally located at Littleton High School right and it's just great how that people come out and watch that game. It doesn't matter. Arapaho and Heritage will battle for the Brookridge Trophy once again. Join us, Fox 31 High School Game Day, KDVR.com. Click on the sports tabs to watch this Friday at 7 o'clock.